Hello and welcome to this quick tip about the command cmf file in Hyperworks. You can find the command cmf file in the documents folder. And if you want to edit it, I edit it with Notepad++. You can find that in the internet uh, on the web page described here. And let's just open it and see what's in there. So right now it's uh, pretty clean as I uh, deleted it earlier. And if you, if we go, go to Hyperworks, um, just do a quick node operation, for example, create a node, uh, then you will see the command in the command CMF file. So just hit create on this and switch back to the notepad. And then it tells you that it wants to reload it. So if you, um, don't want this reload all the time, there's a plugin. And for that, you go to plugin manager and select this uh, plugin called um, Datai Monitor, Document Monitor, yeah. Um, just hit install and it will install that. Quick restart of Notepad++ and then you are ready to execute this plugin. Go again into plugins and then you find start to monitor. And now it will monitor this command cmf file. So if I do an operation in the Hyperworks desktop environment, it will automatically show on the right. So just hit there, um, zero, zero, zero. If I turn the view, you can see that. Um, I just wanted to show you that if I do this a couple of times, we will get uh, to the end of the page and it will scroll automatically. And that's uh, one thing that Notepad++ in the standard version cannot do. So this is uh, quite, quite good. So I can recommend this plugin um, if you want to make a script like this. And this code right here is not TCL language right now. So you cannot execute it right away. You have to do some replacements. And this will be the brackets and as well as the semicolon. So those uh, will get replaced by a space. And then you can save this file as a TCL macro or script and execute it within the Hyperworks environment. It just let me quickly save that. Another thing you have to notice is that if you save it like this, Notepad saves it as text file. So you have to change the, um, the suffix here to TCL that the system recognizes it as a TCL file. Back in um, Hyperworks, you have to enable the, um, the scripting toolbar and you find that within a few toolbars and then uh, Hyperworks scripting. And there you find uh, this button to start a script, or run a script, locate your file, which we have done right now. And you see the line is there again.